And hello again. This is Shigate of Vlogs by Shigate. What's going on, everybody? And uh, today is Saturday, September 10th. And this is that day's, tonight's, post every night of September, penis post. And tonight, uh, I've been uh, falling behind a little bit, was doing it ahead of time. So it's going to be literally every night when I can. Um, anyhow. Tonight's discussion or topic is going to be my impressions on the iPhone 7 event from this past Tuesday. I should have done it as my Tech Tuesday instead of the uh, USB batteries, but that was still relevant and I thought it was a, an interesting topic because some people might not realize what those are and how useful they are. Um, so there have been rumors going around for at least a year, a year and a half that the iPhone 7 was coming out. and I mean, it's obvious. Every year, there's the number, number S, number, number S uh, models, and their updates. Usually, the S is the most more significant update. Maybe that's what S stands for, significant. Um, and this year is no different. So, I have an iPhone 6S, and it was slightly better than the 6, but I didn't get how the 6. So, it was really good for me. And with my, uh, my, my third iPhone I've had, I had the original iPhone, the iPhone 5, big jump and gap there. And then I went Android for a generation with the Nexus 5, which I actually have readily available right here. It's in its case. The screen is kind of messed up. That's in like a little executive-y wallet case. Um, it has Marshmallow on here right now. But since Nougat, this is a complete tangent because it has nothing to do with the event. Um, since it has Nougat, uh, I mean, since uh, Nougat, um, Android 7.0 came out, there are three version numbers behind from iOS, which is pretty funny. And they copy features left and right from each other. Um, it's funny how this is going to be, uh, it only has maximum so far available 7.0. Uh, I might put it on here to mess around with it. I don't know yet. But yeah, this, this was the phone I changed to after the iPhone 5, which I gifted to my mother. And then, um, I went to 6S last year at launch. Because this guy was starting to glitch out, and I was tired of maintaining an Android install. I'm like, no. Um, rooting is nice. You know, having a root is nice. Having getting rid of all the bloatware is nice, whatever. But I got tired of it. This stupid thing starts to uh, piss me off a little bit. And as much as I love it, it's a great device, a quad core processor in here, and you're very responsive. Well, I can hold the charge, um, the battery charge. I just decided to go back to the, my um, mobile computing roots. Because I started with an iPhone with my first smartphone. Well, mobile mobile smartphone computing, computing roots, if you may. And I got used to it again. I like it. I had an iPad for a while too, but I sold it for uh, my PS4, which is off off frame over here, towards it anyway. And I regret it and I don't. I didn't use the iPad very much, but I use my PS4 many times a week, if not every day. So, um, anyway, the event. The event was on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern Time, of which the uh, where the region I'm in is where the region I'm in uh, and if I'm looking all over to the, to the side it's because I'm looking at some notes from Mac rumors so I'm it says expected features but those are the features that actually were expected and that they actually happened so the first big difference between the iPhone 7 and any other iPhone before it in the uh, uh, as of the iPhone 5 is that there's uh, from uh, I mean all, sorry altogether, they took out the headphone jack. Now there's a lot of uh, a lot of people not happy with that, and I can understand that because they have legacy headphones. Like uh, perfect, I'm happy I have these handy here. If I can untangle them, thank you. Now everybody, ever since the iPhone five, they've you've had these focus. All right, but. The one thing is, since there's no headphone jack anymore, how are we connect with these, right? Well, uh, 
besides Apple shipping these exact ones, but with a lightning plug, um, there's also an adapter to go from the lightning port to regular uh, 3.5 millimeter that is standard on any other device uh, in the, on the market. And um, people are yelling about that. It's like, oh, I don't want to have to do that. Well, guess what? You can still use these stupid headphones just with an adapter. If you lose the adapter, you're the only one to complain to yourself. Um, so that's one thing that was replaced and or improved. And by the way, the reason why they did that was because the phone is now um, water, more water resistant and having uh, that headphone port hole in the case would make it much more difficult and uh, much more difficult to waterproof and it would not be good. If water got in there and then it gets sued and it was a cl class action suit possibly, Apple doesn't want that. Uh, it's not that they couldn't support it and possibly win or cut their losses or both. No, they just don't want to have to deal with that. They're a smart company. I respect them very much. Even if it's a bit inconvenienced, in inconveniencing to some people. Anyway, after the headphone jack removal, the next expected, which turned out to be actual feature, is a new flush pressure-sensitive home button, which means, my, my actual headphones on my bed over there, um, which means instead of a clicky button, it's actually uh, force touch, 3D touch like. So it's pressure sensitive, it's not a physical button, but it has a haptic engine underneath the button, like uh, the uh, force touch trackpad on all the uh, up to date current MacBooks. Not MacBook Air, the MacBook, the just a regular MacBook, and the MacBook Pro, as of 2015, yeah, as of 2015, they all have that technology, and now it's in the iPhone 7 and probably from here on out. Um, let's see, what's next? Okay, this one's a big one. For, for, for uh, photographers, or videographers, or just hobbyists in general. Um, the iPhone 7 Plus, the big one, right? It has a dual lens camera now. It has a 28 millimeter uh, lens, I believe it is as well as the 56 millimeter, which is the telephoto lens, which has a, di which has a zoom uh, ratio or a zoom ca capability uh, that I've never seen be uh, before in the phone, and it's really cool. And they, sh they demonstrated a picture of a person standing like 20 feet away, and they zoomed in on him, and it looked great. So the processing, there's also a separate little processing chip for the camera alone, like a separate CPU for the camera alone which is pretty amazing. The presentation, the actual keynote that has a, that talked about all this, plus all the other things, uh, other things and updates and whatever, and different apps and iOS 10 related stuff. Yeah, that's right, also iOS 10 was, uh, was announced to be released actually in three days. So if any one of my view, of you, my viewers here, have an iDevice, like a, I think even like a fourth or fifth a generation plus or higher iPod Touch, the, uh, an iPad, don't know the generation, but probably the iPad, Five, iPad Air, iPad 4 and up, and I guess an iPhone 4S and up. I'm not sure what what OS iOS 10 runs on, uh, off the top of my top of my head. But if you have a fairly recent iOS device, then iOS 10 should run, uh, give or take. Probably certain features won't run well because it needs all uh, the processing power, uh, hardware processing power that the newer devices incrementally got. Um, but it should run. So iOS 10 was also announced. Uh, the, but yeah, the dual camera on the iPhone 7 Plus is really cool. Uh, whenever I can do it, uh, if I have the money to, or if I sell my current phone um, and get some money towards it, and then reactivate my Nexus 5 Android device uh, temporarily while it's being shipped or whatever, or while I go grab it, I'm not sure, um, then that'd be great. All right. And then the next point they have is that there is a the, the, the design is pretty similar to the iPhone 6s. It's more curved on the edges. It's more of a soft soft edge design, not by much. Um, the next point they make there is that it has the up and uh, an upgraded A10 Fusion processor, and it has four processors. Now my initial impression 
was that since it's got four processors, it's a true quad-core phone from Apple, finally. Not quite. It's got two processors for doing heavy tasks, and it's got another two for doing more casual stuff. Similar to how um, an Intel processor, this is just my assumption and it makes sense to me, similar to how an Intel processor automatically overclocks using what's called Turbo Boost technology to make it run faster uh, when, when there's a heavier load or if, a pro, or if an application needs more processing power, like encoding video, like an iMovie or Final Cut or Adobe Premiere. Um, and that's probably what, uh, what the uh, A10 Fusion does. It's got two processors for playing games or something where you need more power, and then when you're not playing a game, when you're just browsing the web, listening to music, uh, writing a document in Pages or iWork, related apps, it'll use the other set of processors. So while it does have four uh, physical, pro I think uh, four cores, you have four physical cores in there, it's not exactly a quad core. I got excited when they announced four processors. So I was like, finally Apple's with a quad core game, but not quite. All right, another big thing is that it has actually stereo speakers now, which is really cool. Traditionally, the speakers are on the, the bottom, like where, is, where the, uh, the sync uh, data cable is, the, the lightning port and everything, as well, and then that's it. And, but now, I think I remember, I don't have the, uh, the, the, those kind of notes in front of me, or that kind of spec sheet in front of me. The second speaker actually is either on the earpiece, like where you put it to your head, or it's just another speaker right there. Like uh, I'm not sure if it's one and, one and the same with the earpiece depending on what function the application is using to use it in the earpiece or as a speaker. I don't know. But however they did it, they had stereo speakers. This phone, the uh, iPhone 7 series now has stereo speakers. Um, moving along here, the next big thing is that, not big thing, the next sm a small improvement is that it has better battery life. Um, they've optimized the poo out of it and it probably gets really nice battery life. Good for me, which is a, it's a great thing for me because I use my phone at work overnight listening to music and that means I can go longer between charges, longer between using my uh, USB battery here. And uh, that's awesome. Um, another cool thing is that they have uh, some new colors. They have the ro rose gold and gold that were introduced in this past generation. Uh, they have silver, it's not even, um, uh, what, 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 I don't remember what they called it before, the previous silver color. Uh, the silver color, now they have black and jet black, which is really cool. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that they announced, iPhone-wise. Oh, right. Well, this is also at the event. They, um, okay, where is my planning doc here? All right. They also talked about the uh, Apple Watch, which is a, a device that's not for me. It's more of a luxury item. If I had the money for an iWatch, I'd just get a new iPhone um, because it's not worth it for me. I have not worn a watch since I got uh, my first cell phone when I was like 14. Cell phone. No, I didn't say smartphone because my first smartphone was when I was, I don't know, 2009, when I, 2007, when I was like 22 with the original iPhone, which was the first true smartphone in my view, in my opinion, up, up for debate. Um, and anyway, so the Apple Watch is a great device, don't get me wrong, just it's not for me. And they've actually updated it with uh, Watch OS 3, with all these different things that they talked about at, um, World, at the Worldwide Developers Conference, the WWDC back in June. That was a cool keynote, if you're a developer or just interested in software development, uh, mobile devices, watch that um, keynote. It's, it's up, it's somewhere. It's probably on iTunes, iTunes University, or I think that's what they call it. Um, and one thing that's interesting that I didn't, I didn't expect at all, of course, uh, the, I, uh, the iWatch, yeah. The Apple Watch has all the health monitoring apps and all this other weird stuff. Niantic. 
Yeah, that Niantic. Niantic Co. Or Niantic Inc. Or whatever. Put Pokemon Go on the watch. I don't understand how that's going to work because it needs data. But I assume that you just have the watch pa uh, paired to your phone in your pocket or, or purse or pocketbook if you're a lady. And it uses the data from the phone. But you can literally play Pokemon Go from your wrist. Which is insane in a good and bad way. <laughs> it's strange. Um, besides that, the, there's actually an, an iWatch, uh, I almost said iWatch again. There's an Apple Watch revision too. They're, they're calling, they're, they're renaming the, the, they're keeping the original iWatch. They're calling it, uh, iWatch. There I go again. Apple Watch. Yeah. It's late. It's 10 o'clock here. I'm just doing it on a whim. Uh, off the top of my head. Um, the Apple Watch now is, now is marketed as Apple Watch Series 1. Apple Watch Series 2, which is the newer one with a faster processor and uh, update, upgraded other things, features, bigger battery, I think maybe a slightly bigger screen, I'm not sure. And um, yeah. Now the final thing I want to mention right now for this video, because this is just my impressions video from off the top of my head. I should have done it right after the event and made that the Tech Tuesday video, but oh well. Um, the Tech Tuesday video for this week. I think I'll do a Tech Tuesday every week until the end of September. Um, is that they released some wireless headphones because there's no more there's no more lightning port, right? Okay. Well, I mean, there's no more headphone ports. Port. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're called the the, the um, I believe AirPods, and they're literally these. Literally these, but a bit thicker, and it has a Bluetooth signal there and some microphones and stuff. And it goes in your ear like that, but imagine with the wire not being there, right? And those are cool, okay, but they're $160 a pair. And if you lose one, just one, it's like another 100 to get replaced. That doesn't sit well with me. Because if you're going to have a wireless headphone solution, have some way for it to latch in your ear, for it to, to be secured there, and still have the rest of the technologies there. I can understand you want it to be like, uh, sorry, easier over here, to be accessible to your voice so your voice can get to it, but your voice can still get to it, even if it's a bit muffled. If, it, if you don't want it to be muffled, turn on speakerphone and just talk like that. And that's one thing I don't like. So There's very few things Apple designs that I don't like. Um, like the iPod Shuffle, I think it's pointless. I think it's pointless. I'm sure it's not, but I think it is. Um, let's see. Can I move this stupid thing to... Oh, I'm on the wrong app. Okay, I guess not. Wait. Okay, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't show on the recording. Okay, anyway. Yeah. So the iPhone 7 event, the September media event, I guess they're gonna, they're calling it, was interesting. The iPhone 7 series is cool. I guess for, for who it's marketed towards, the Apple Watch series 1 and 2 are cool. iOS 10, which has been known about for a while now, uh, is cool. But not everything appeals to everyone. And the, like I said, the Apple Watch doesn't appeal to me. The AirPods don't appeal to me. Uh, they also announced some other wireless headphones from their... Uh, Beats from uh, from the Beats line, right? Dr. Dre's Beats that Apple bought up like th two, three years ago. And those make more sense to me. Those are also wireless, but they go in your ears like this instead of just like this. And one smack in the face and it falls out of your ear. Then you gotta pay, and if you lose it, you gotta pay 100 bucks. Or if it's lost or damaged, you gotta pay like $103 or something. No, I'm sorry. That's no bueno. Anyway. This video is going on about 20 minutes and I'm kind of rambling. So, um, thanks for watching. This was, has been September 9th, uh, September 10th, I'm sorry. September 10th, 10th entry for Post Every Night of September, Penis. And uh, this is uh, Shigate Vlogs, bidding you a good night. And tomorrow's topic is going to be a repeat topic on this channel, unfortunately, uh, because it's, uh, it's coming up on, on September 11th again. And I have nothing else I can think of that I want to discuss on this tragic upcoming day. And uh, it's going to be uh, a story about 
the same story, maybe maybe something different than last year, where I had my story uh, about how I was in my senior year in high school, etc. But I'll th I'll think of something, and uh, that's going to be tomorrow's to top uh, Sunday's topic, September 11th remembrance. All right, uh, and uh, have yourselves a great night. And uh, if you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really like my content, this is my first time I'm adding this to my outro. If you really like my content, go ahead and share it to whoever you like. To your grandma, to your dog, to your cat's cousin's uncle, to anyone you want. And uh, have a great night.